Welcome to Twilight Render's Getting Started video tutorial series. This is Interior Lighting for Architects Part 2, Sky Portal and Natural Light. Okay, so here we're going to look quickly at one more type of interior scene. This is a small bathroom rendering. Here we can see we've got uh, three pendant lights over the vanity. We have a window to the right and we have some down lights on the ceiling. For the down lights, we used the twilight render lighting components. We, and for the um, pendant lights, we used this indoor pendant reception right here under the indoor manufacturer folder. And for the down lights, we used this 60 watt. The special thing that we did here is we used a sky portal in order to get the light to come through from outside. So here is this space as it's rendered in Easy 04. In fact, Easy 04B with a special anti-aliasing. Um, and this is the same space rendered with Easy 09. Okay. So you can see both of those look quite nice. The Easy 09 is probably a little bit nicer. And then uh, let's talk about what we did for this uh, sky portal on the window. In order to focus all the light from the sky, uh, if we look at the environment settings here, we'll see that it's physical sky and sun all default that comes with twilight when you first render any scene. This is what it comes as. No, uh, no changes were made to the environment. So the key here is that we built a small box outside of the window. And if you look at this box, there's one surface that's facing in towards the window. The direction that we want the light to flow, we point that face that direction. And then we painted that with a material and we called that material Sky Portal Visible. And then we applied the template under Templates, Emitter, Sky Portal Visible. And that's it. So what that Sky Portal does is it forces all the rays from the sun and the sky to go through the window. So that the entire sky's rays will be calculated. Otherwise, just a few random rays from the sky would fall through the window. And, and this way, the lighting solution will be much higher quality. But also that means that if you're rendering with easy one through seven render settings, those settings, the render speed will be slower. The render time will increase greatly on one through seven. But it also decreases render times when rendering with 09 or 10, when rendering with that much um, indirect lighting from sun and sky. Okay. Then for the lights themselves, if we look at this uh, pendant light right here, here's the pendant reception light. I set the power to be five watts and the color to be just a desaturated warm color. And for the down lights, we have a more saturated warm color to give a more incandescent type of light bulb look. Okay. So the wattage was left at default for the down lights that are on the ceiling in the cans, but the pendant lights, we, we reduced the strength. And then finally, in the exposure, we increased exposure of the image to three for the interior. Uh, and then we rendered on 09. And this was the result. Okay. And that is how to light the um, interiors bathroom scene with um, indirect skylighting only, um, in addition to the uh, incandescent lights that we wanted. Please feel free to join us on the forum if you have any questions. 
and uh, hit like and subscribe to Twilight Render's video tutorials for more.